is watering because we are in the kitchen with Phil Vickery to celebrate one of the nation's all-time favourite puddings, the Humble Crumble. Delicious. And there's three of them, so I'm quite there excited. Is. Even by my standards, this is a big old portion of crumble. R right, now here we go. Look at these. So, when you make crumble, you've got to have just a few basic rules right and it will work every time. Now, when I was a young chef, I was told that when you made a crumble, it should be two-thirds crumble and one-third filling. Really? I've now checked, yeah, because it should be very light. But I've changed that because I, I think it should be 50-50. I'd go 50-50. Yeah. Now, it depends on how, which crumble you like. So there's two three different ways of doing it. So the first one is apple crumble, which is the one closest the red one. to you. Yeah, the red one. Now, this is a really light crumble. Okay, mm -hmm. so what you mustn't do, we'll come on to it in a second, is pack it down. It should crumble. At the whole point, it should be crumbled. I always pack it. Yeah, see, that is... <laughs> No, um, you push it be... down. I always pack it out, always. And then is it quite hard? Yes. I'd be Not going... crumbly? No. But... But there you go. Thanks, so, Phil. let's talk about this. So, it's quite crumble. In this um, processor, now, you can, you can rub it in by hand if you want. Uh, I tend to use a machine because it's just a bit quicker. The, the secret is the butter must be as cold as possible. Sometimes I use to freeze it as well. Really? So, flour's in here, butter goes in, and you don't add any sugar. The big mistake people make is putting the sugar at this point as well. If you over blitz it, which we'll come over to in a second, it goes like pastry. Now, that can be an advantage if you're doing a crumble slightly different way, which we'll come on to. Okay. Now, I don't blitz it up too much until you get fine breadcrumbs like that. Okay? And that's it. That's it. And just take a bit of time if you're going to do it by, you know, the, the traditional method. In a bowl, and you'll see that... I'll just put it there. You'll see these two little tiny bits of butter. Mm -hmm. you know? All the way through. Yeah, so that will actually add to the crunch. OK? okay. Then you add the sugar. Okay. And you that's what sugar is that? Any sugar, it's just caster. So if you put like more granulated sugar, wouldn't it be crunchier? No, it would do, but it will melt at a certain temperature when you put it in the oven. Oh, I see. So yes, it probably would do. And then all you do is you stir this in with a spoon. Don't put it in the machine because if you whack it out in the machine and over blitz it, like someone rings or the front doorbell goes, whatever, yeah. it goes like this. Almost like pastry. Yeah. That's because you've had the sugar. That doesn't happen if you don't do that. However. If you want to make a, a granular mm. topping that we'll come on to in a second, I actually quite like it like this, because that goes little crunchy lumps. So if you go oh, too look. far and there's a mistake, keep watching. Correct. Okay. Now, so that's your crumble. So you just stir that in by with a spoon. You don't have to use um, a whisk or anything else. Ding dong. Now, in this pan here, we've got the, this is the basic apple crumble. Bramley apples, which are a cooking apple. Mm. Other ones are available. Howgate one, there's another one, which, which marmalades very Do you well. Keep skin on? You can if you want. can be a bit tough, certainly on bigger apples. So, um, Bramley apples, what they call marmalade. So, as you start to, you'll see here, as they start to cook, they start to break down. Dessert apples like Granny Smith, Cox's Orange Pippin, Braeburn's, Pink Lady, don't. They tend to mm -hmm. stay whole. So, if you're making a tart tartin, that's what you use, because you want the apple to stay whole. I get it. Here, you want it to break down. So, in here, I put lemon zest, lemon juice, and then water, just enough water, just to bring the bottom of that pan up. And that will bring that to the boil, and it'll, the outsides of the apple will start to fall off. A little dash of sugar in there as well. I, I quite not too specific about sugar because some apples are more sour than others. To so taste it. Correct. And also, if you want a, a more of a tart crumble, maybe you've got a quite a sugary topping, it's up to you. Cook that down for about five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. It ends like this one here, okay? Now, what I love about this one here is this juice as well. See that? That's, that's one of the best bits about that, and that will just cook down in the oven. It will reduce, because you're going to keep it for 40 minutes. Now, with the crumble, you will pile it on top, like that. Don't bash it down, OK? Gosh. Leave it nice Josie. and loose. <laughs> it's like a mountain. It's it, like crumble mountain. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm going to spread that out slightly to go on the top. But what I'm not doing is packing it down. Now, if you pack it down, it becomes like pastry. Yeah. So you want to keep it nice and light. OK? That goes in the oven. Do you know what I love about a crumble the most? What? Go They're on. so cheap to make. Yeah, and quite impressive, and a crowd pleaser. Yeah, you could just go out, pick your berries, you come back, yeah. all you need is a Job few done. crumbs. Absolutely, and the great thing also is cook it and leave it to cool. And you, they were cooked about an hour ago, so they're still and warm. And don't eat it too hot. Exactly, because, you know, you've got a lot of sugar in it, it will actually burn your mouth. See, Especially I'm... if you come on to this one, which we'll talk about in a second. OK. So this is the next one. So here I'm using okay. pears, ripe pears. So you've got the blue one at the front there. So this has um, the same process as before. Uh, cooking it down, but I've added a little bit to uh, cinnamon, lemon juice, and a touch of olive oil. And I quite like olive, olive oil. Olive oil? Yes. In which bit? In, in with the pears. Now, I went to an Italian restaurant years ago in, in, in Milan and we had a hot chocolate souffle oh with God. pears. That's and lovely. The, isn't it delicious? Mm -hmm. And the olive oil they the put cinnamon. in the souffle. 
It's wonderful. What is that flavour? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. So it's really cinnamony. That. That's so nice. That yeah. was, I was going to go, well, you can't beat an apple crumble, but that's really that good. That works. Now, the only difference on the, on the topping is I've used brown sugar here instead of white sugar. Right. As we, said, as we spoke about a second ago. And I have added ground almonds to give that crunchy oh. texture. And also... That's really it good. It gives though. it more of an earthy crumble flavour. That is Because really the oil's good. come out. And then also... Have a bit of I'm vanilla ice using cream. Using um, flaked almonds, which you've got on top there as well. Again, the same process. So pile it on mm, and don't, it? don't pack it down. Oh, okay? Let it just flow on top of there like that. And then the flaked almonds go on top as well. Now, these are brown. You don't have to brown them. They will brown in the oven. Again, don't pack it down. If you want to do that, that's fine, just to settle it. How long in the oven? About 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, right, OK. Now, moving on. That's that one there. And this one here is another variation. So this one uses plums, yeah. which we cook in a caramel with allspice, which is Jamaican pepper. It's delicious. Try that one there. Caramel and old spice? All spice. All which is, which is spice? A... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Not the one you... What <laughs> 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 It's a Jamaican <laughs> pepper. Holly. Sorry. Look, yeah, look, have a look at that. Have a smell of that, right? Maybe have a smell. <laughs> so... Oh, that smells nice. But that oh, works. That's... <laughs> yeah. So we made a dark oh, yeah. caramel. You can make oh, it put it into really that. that's pretty nice too. That's quite earthy and quite autumnal, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, a little bit of vanilla. Again, brown sugar. And you get that lovely, lovely... Um, uh, almost like caramel juice. Again, using brown sugar in the crumble, mm. that goes on top. And Yummy. then you, you can either add a granola type um, breakfast cereal, or you can make your own. Okay, so that goes on there. And then I add this on top afterwards. Again. And that gives it that sort of little crunch. Crunch. And in there you've got um, almonds, you've got oats, you've also got perhaps some, some of them have coconut It's shade, very it? clovey, that all yes, spice, it is. isn't it? Yeah. And it will. Give you a bit of a, a little, kick. A little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Tim, where's Tim? That's his favourite saying. A little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. <laughs> Which now, one's your favourite, Holes? Which one's your favourite? I'm going pear. Yeah. I'm going pear. Yeah. Now, listen, we've all had ours. There is a spare one there. Yeah. It's not spare, actually, but... because that one is going to our floor manager, Tim, oh, who has oh, been oh. a resident at this morning for 26 years, and today is his last show. Oh. So, Tim... Well done, you. Well Thank done, you Tim. for all your well hard work. Done. Well done. Aww. Good luck for the next phase, wherever you're going to. Go and take your thing and enjoy. There's your bubble. There There's your ice cream. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, make your choice of toppings. Enjoy that, Tim. Oh, no. Thank you very much. Oh, there you go. You Thank are you. very, very welcome. So, just a quickie, the, the toppings. Tim, you've got ice cream. Yeah. Um, you've got custard. I've got custard here. You've got Bailey's cream. Oh, you cream. did? Oh, I made a Bailey's, Bailey's cream. cream. Is it nice? Out of your dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put it back, Joseph, please. That's Holly doesn't important. like custard, so she's really got nice. cream and ice cream. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you Phil. Thank you very much. I might have to take you home now. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from one of the chefs, download our free This Morning app. Yeah.